sound. Let the grown women speak. Ah, yes, the famously tart-tongued Queen of Thorns. And the famous tart, Queen Circe. Beg your pardon? God's boy, that's enough. We're not in a tavern. Pardon me. There's no need to speak. Are there any figs? Fetch some. I always take figs mid-afternoon. They help move the bowels. I was told you were drunk, impertinent, and thoroughly debauched. You can imagine my disappointment at finding nothing but a brow-beaten bookkeeper. Where did you go for them, Volantis? Now. I want you to tell me the truth about this royal boy, this Joffrey. I... I... You, you. Who else would know better? We've heard some troubling tales. Is there any truth to them? Has this boy mistreated you? Has he ripped out your tongue? Joff King, Joffrey, he, his grace is very fair and handsome and as brave as a lion. Yes, all Lannisters are lions. And when a Tyrell farts, it smells like a rose. Impossible. Why? My grandson is the pride of High Garden, the most desirable bachelor in all seven kingdoms. Your daughter is rich, the most beautiful woman in all seven kingdoms, and the mother of the king. Old. Old? Old. I'm something of an expert on the subject. Her change will be upon her before long. I'll spare you the details of what will happen then. You men may have a stomach for bloodshed and slaughter, but this is another matter entirely. Well, the years punish us as well, I promise you that. My stomach remains quite strong, however. The only thing that might turn it are details of your grandson's nocturnal activities. Do you deny them? Oh, not at all. A sword swallower through and through. My lady, I wanted to personally welcome you to King's Landing. The city has been made brighter by your presence. The city is made brighter by my presence. Is that your usual line, Lord Varys? You here to seduce me? A little obvious, perhaps. Oh, no, please. Seduce away. It's been so long. Though I rather think it's all for naught. What happens when the non-existent bumps against the decrepit? Question for the philosophers. I heard you were leaving King's Landing. That is hardly your concern. Your grandson is still a prisoner. You'll leave him rotting in a cell. Loras rots in a cell because of you. The High Sparrow rules this city because of you. Our two ancient houses face collapse because of you and your stupidity. You're right. I made a terrible mistake. I carry it with me every single day. Good. I delivered an army of fanatics onto our doorstep. And now we must fight them together. We need each other. I wonder if you're the worst person I've ever met. At a certain age, it's hard to recall. But the truly vile do stand out through the years. One of my husbands preferred the company of men and was stabbed through the heart. Another was happiest torturing animals and was poisoned at our wedding feast. I must be cursed. Nonsense. Your circumstances have improved markedly. You may not have enjoyed watching him die, but you enjoyed it more than you would have enjoyed being married to him. I can promise you that. But I would have been the queen. Our alliance with the Lannisters remains every bit as necessary to them as it is unpleasant for us. You did wonderful work on Joffrey. The next one should be easier. How will you do it? With that sword? That was Joffrey's sword, wasn't it? Not that he ever used it. What did he call it? Widow's Whale. He really was a cunt, wasn't he? Will there be pain? No, I made sure of that. That's good.
I'd hate to die like your son, clawing at my neck, foam and bile spilling from my mouth, eyes blood red, skin purple. Must have been horrible for you, as a king's guard, as a father. It was horrible enough for me, a shocking scene. Not at all what I intended. You see, I'd never seen the poison work before. Tell Cersei. I wanted to know it was me. So those are our top picks for Elena's sassiest moments. If you have any favorite moments from the Queen of Thorns, then make sure you leave them in the comment section below. And if you want any more